to another California guy video with your boy California guy. What's up everybody and welcome to this all new video. This video will be called The Suspects That Keep Black Men Down. Now the enemy of the black men in the United States and globally but in the United States mainly is three groups. White supremacy, feminism, and coons. You have three groups. Let's start with white supremacy. White supremacy is a group, all these groups work tandem with each other. And until black people realize that these three groups is what's keeping black people down, we're doomed to keep failing each year to unify, to build our communities, to utilize group economics, build our communities, and start being a big money power in the United States. And until we do that, until we recognize these three groups, we're going to keep being, we're going to keep repeating the same stuff. White supremacists and white supremacy is a religion and a thought and an ideal. The ideal of white supremacy started when black people were kidnapped off the shores of Africa all the way to present day. We black people today, we're under a system of white supremacy. All of us are slaves. We don't own anything. We're the poorest group of people in the United States and across the world. Uh, we have no education. They keep us from doing a whole bunch of things. And our, the brainwashing that they've given us is that we can't own nothing. We can't build for ourselves. And until we break the chains ourselves, we're going to continue being doomed to this system of white supremacy and that's what keeps black people down the next group of individuals of suspects is uh, white feminists white feminists uh, is another group that's a arm of white supremacy or oh, again a white woman is designed for white women to have power in the United States that was their fight against white men because white men was keeping them from doing certain things and now they basically gave them a bone they gave these white females a bone to uh, have more rights of uh, the late 60s when they gave black when black people were fighting for rights the federal government started giving rights to most minority groups without giving it to black people so uh feminists was the big people to get the the, the benefits that uh the negro couldn't get because black people we was too busy fighting over can we sit at the same stool next to a Caucasian men. That was our that was our fight. We was fighting to sit next to white people and feminists and other groups was fighting over economic power. And so the feminists they've achieved that. They've achieved they've made millions of dollars, such as Latinos and Jews. And so these feminists they've tricked black women, they use black women as a tool in order to keep black men down. They justify by saying, Okay, we give this black woman a bone and really the black man doesn't get a bone no more. So that's the, the purpose of feminism. Feminism is not designed to even help the black man. Uh, the next group is coons. Coons is another group. Again, coons are Uncle Tom symbols that's around to help to justify white supremacy. You have coons in every department. Old, young babies, uh, celebrities, workers, relatives. You go down the list. YouTubers. So you have coons everywhere. They support white supremacy. Some coons, some coons are undercover coons, and then some are more blatant. Coons are black people who justify that they're intellectuals. In reality, they're coons. They, they promote white supremacy. They put out ideals that white America is good or America is good, and it's a melting pot for everybody, when in reality, black people don't have anything in the United States. Black people are slaves, but they want black people to take uh, biscuits, biscuit uh, crumbs and love that. They try to keep black people from expanding on ideals. They call they, they, they tell black people that racism doesn't exist and it's all in a black man's head. That's the, the job of a coon. All these groups work together. And I don't need to keep going down the list with with each group do because you guys already know from either myself or other YouTubers or your own knowledge 
of these supremacists but these three groups have something in common they work together to achieve a system of white supremacy in the united states and black people need to get back on game and on code again because we are doomed to fail if we keep falling for these three different groups black women need to stop falling for feminists because these white women do not care nothing about their needs and their goals the black community should be unified black men and black women because if you're unified we will have success money and black people will work because at the end of the day it's not about curing racism it's about the money in the economic dollar because once you achieve the economic dollar in the united states then you can work on other issues that's where we can sit at the table and we really can control some stuff not take over the country i'm not saying that but if we build the money in our community we start to have businesses again and we employ each other and we make the money then these people have no choice but to sit at the table and talk business with us but until then we're fighting a meaningless fight that's a way of defeating white supremacy right there we need to own property houses homes and we need to own banks which we're starting to bring back and we need to re we need to rebuild black wall street again uh we need to ignore the coons coons let the coons go we don't need to keep opening up the eyes of all these individuals uh, and being bothered by these coons. I'm hoping some of the brothers and sisters listen to my video and stop trying to wake up these coons. And we need to wake ourselves up from these enemies of the black people. Because what I just mentioned is these are the enemies of black people. Feminists, uh, coons, and white supremacists. These are the enemies of the black people. And they utilize media to push their agenda. They get these... Uh, butt dancing Negroes such as Steve Harvey and T.D. Jakes and all these different individuals and we have to follow behind them but we need to think of an ideal so that we could expand on it like Tariq Nasheed says in his uh, shows so we need to start supporting each other and pushing an identity and we need to start pushing money into our communities so that we can expand and really build on things like and share this video people peace out